Hi guys, I just got back from vacation and I just thought I'd come out here and see how the garden did without me. And right away, I can see that there's a huge pumpkin over here. It grew exponentially while I was away. And luckily we did have some rain, so my husband didn't come, have to come out and water anything. But we also did have a, a pretty bad storm, so I'm expecting to see some things tipped over and some branches down. Let's go see what the pumpkin looks like. I would say when I left, it's about half this size. I cannot believe how big it is. Look at this. Look guys, it's pretty darn big. Just in a week of, of lots of heat and a couple of rainstorms, my pumpkin has grown huge. So this is a pleasant welcome home. Looks like the sun gold tomatoes are starting to ripen. They were all green when I left. Only been gone about a week, guys. But look, they're starting to color up. Tomorrow morning, I'll come out with a basket and try to pick some of these beautiful tomatoes. Seeing a lot of yellow on here. That is exciting. Does anybody else miss the garden when they're away like I do? I have a feeling if you're watching a garden channel, you probably do. Oh, I came around the back of my tomato bed and I found loads of ripe tomatoes. This is just remarkable. None of these were ripe before I left. All of this has happened in a week. And these are definitely sun gold. Here's some more right here. They're all a beautiful yellow to orange. Just gorgeous. I can't wait to bring my basket out tomorrow. Looks like maybe some of these banana peppers are starting to be on there a little bit too long. They do only get sweeter because they get a little bit of a reddish orange hue. But I'll come out and pick these tomorrow as well. Here's a totally red one. Has a bite out of it as well. Here's another red one. That's okay, it'll be sweet. I'm gonna have peppers for lunch tomorrow. All of the tomatoes up here ripen. We had some seriously hot weather and they were just, just starting to blush when I left. But look at this gorgeous color. I think this is tangerine zebra from Baker's Creek and that is a gorgeous tomato. I bet it's delicious. Sometimes the orange and the yellow tomatoes aren't quite as acidic. But it looks like I'm going to have a lot of tomatoes ready to pick in the morning. And oh my goodness! Look at the size of my Kushaw squash. I'm impressed that the trellis is still holding it up. Take a look at that guys. I was hoping I'd get another one on here, but I'm not sure there's enough resources in my tote for it to produce more fruit. But it's really bulking up, just like my pumpkin. Some of the winter squash really take off and when things get hot. Looks like we got a zucchini growing under here. I'm going to have a great time in the morning harvesting all these, this fresh produce. Got zucchini and tomatoes. Fantastic. I'm happy to see the rustic garden bed looking in, in good shape. All of my cuttings and my new coleus. This actually, this was coleus that sprouted from seed that I transplanted in here from a pot. And that doubled in size. It must like the heat. And all my starts must have rooted in before the heat wave. And thank goodness they're looking perky. So everything's looking good here. And nothing is missing. It hasn't died back. Oh, even my pineapple surprise coleus look good. And the other two that I transplanted in here and here, they look fine. Everything must have gotten enough water. Oh, and this is a very exciting happening. In between them, or actually behind them back here, you can see little seedlings 
Those are actually some green zinnias, green envy zinnias. Before I left, I sprinkled some seeds and I watered them for a couple days and I crossed my fingers that it would rain. And it looks like a couple of them have taken. I think if you have faith that they'll sprout if the conditions are right, you know, it's just good to sprinkle them out. See what happens. Here's more of my coleus looking good. May give everything a water tomorrow, but gosh, everything really fared well without me. It doesn't seem like I was missed at all. Well, here's an unpleasant surprise. It looks like the white flies have been after my collard greens. Uh, I'm not too disappointed. I do grow this mostly for um, fertilizer. On a mulch, I like to take the leaves and put it in water and steep them for couple weeks and then um, sort of make a homemade fertilizer out of it but uh, looks like something really got to it so I'm, I'm not sure what did it but look at that guys and it's okay the plant will bounce back the new leaves that come out once the pest is out of the picture will be just fine because those stalks are really green oh as I touch it there's a lot of white fly so that's probably exactly what it is so that's my first unpleasant surprise, but I don't spray anything and I'm not going to get too upset about it. And guys, look at my Tradescantia. It's kind of hiding back here. It's bright purple. It is looking fantastic. This is a plant that I always bring in in the winter. And by the end of the winter, it looks just awful, but as you can see, if you put it out in the summer, it really springs back. I just love that purple. I have to put it somewhere more visible, I think. The Cushaw squash that I planted back here in these two Target tubs, these were from Target, they're like round tubs, has gone wild. It almost looks like Cinderella's vine as her magical coach comes to life. But look at that, it's just wound, winding all through here. And I don't see any fruit yet. Let me look a little closer. But the vine sure has gone wild. So hopefully that's a vine that will support some fruit. And we'll see if we get another Cushaw squash to match the one up in the polytunnel bed. Seems like the Joe Pie weed's gone crazy. I just think those are such gorgeous flowers. And they're about six feet tall. Aren't they gorgeous, guys? And I know the butterflies sure do love them. So my overall assessment is, because it's been so hot, probably needs some more water. And I'll come out here and do that tomorrow. But we didn't have any large trees down. And any casualties in the garden, everything seemed to survive. They're all survivors. And I'm happy to be back in my garden. And here's what I brought in. All this was growing and ripening while I was gone for a week. I can't wait to dig in.